Hello my brothers and sisters. Welcome, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we gather to reflect on the precious words of Psalm 31, a prayer written by King David, which leads us to explore the depth of trust in God, even in the face of adversity. In this psalm, we find a powerful example of how the human heart can find refuge and hope in the Lord, amid the struggles and afflictions of life. David, known for his dedication and passion for God, faced countless challenging situations throughout his life. In the midst of these trials, he learned to look to the Lord for his strength and salvation. Psalm 31 is a testimony to his unshakable trust in the God who rescued him from the clutches of his enemies, who protected him from the plots of those who persecuted him and who delivered him from the anguish that oppressed him. As we read this psalm, we are invited to contemplate the Lord's magnificent mercy and kindness, which extends not only to David, but also to all his sons and daughters who fear and trust him. We realize that trust in God is the key to finding refuge amid the storms of life, just as David did. When we observe David's spiritual journey, we realize that his words transcend time and reach our hearts to this day. The invitation to trust the Lord in all circumstances continues to resonate in our souls, reminding us that we are called to cast all our anxieties upon him as he cares for us. At this time, I want to invite all brothers and sisters who are following this reflection to subscribe to our channel, where we will continue to delve into the depths of the scriptures, seeking encouragement and wisdom for our daily lives. By sharing together the knowledge of God's word, we will strengthen our faith and build each other up on the journey of the Christian life. Take this opportunity to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell, so that we can stay connected and share the spiritual food that sustains us and inspires us to remain firm on the path of truth and grace. May Psalm 31 be a source of inspiration and encouragement to us all as we continue on our journey of faith, fully trusting in Him who is our rock, our fortress, and our safe haven. May God bless you abundantly and may together we grow in love and knowledge of our Lord. Amen. Now let's pray Psalm 31, and then our Father. In you, Lord, I trust, let me never be ashamed. Deliver me by your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, deliver me quickly. Be my strong rock, a very strong house that saves me. For you are my rock and my fortress. So, for your name's sake, guide me and direct me. Take me out of the net that they hid for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commit my spirit, you rescued me, Lord God of truth. I hate those who give themselves up to vain idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and rejoice in your loving kindness. For you considered my affliction, you knew my soul in distress. And you did not deliver me into the hands of the enemy, you set my feet in a spacious place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes, my soul and my belly are consumed with sadness. For my life is spent with sorrow, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones waste away. I was a reproach among all my enemies, even among my neighbors and horror to my acquaintances, those who saw me on the street ran away from me. I am forgotten in their hearts, like a dead person, I am like a broken vase. For I heard the murmuring of many, fear was all around. While they consulted together against me, they tried to take my life. But I trusted in you, Lord, and said, You are my God. My times are in your hands, Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me by your mercies. Do not make me ashamed, Lord, for I called on you. 
Let the wicked be ashamed, let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be silent that speak evil things with pride and contempt against the righteous. Oh! How great is your goodness, which you have kept for those who fear you! Which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee in the presence of the sons of men. You will hide them, in the secret of your presence, from the insults of men. You will hide them in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord. For he has shown his mercy to me marvelously in a safe city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications, when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you who are his saints. For the Lord guards the faithful and repays with abundance the one who uses pride. Strive, and he will strengthen your heart. All of you who hope in the Lord. Lord, my God and Father, I ask that you bless each one of these people, that you protect them and free them from all evil. Grant them comfort in their hearts, remove all fear, weakness, hurt, anguish and depression. Free them from all snares of the enemy, Lord, and heal those who are sick, whether in hospital beds or anywhere. Visit them with your power. Calm the hearts of those who are in need and in debt. Act in each one's life, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed is your name. Your kingdom eats. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. Just as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor and the glory, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. Glory to God. Dear brothers and sisters, we have reached the end of this reflection on Psalm 31, and it is with gratitude and joy that we close this special moment of communion in the Word of God. I sincerely hope that the words of this psalm have touched your hearts, strengthening your trust in the Lord, just as they did with David so many centuries ago. Always remember that our God is faithful and compassionate, and at every moment of our lives, we can take refuge in Him, finding shelter and support in His loving arms. May the message of this psalm remain engraved in our minds and hearts, reminding us that we can cast all our worries upon the Lord, knowing that He watches over us with zeal and care. I thank all of you, dear brothers, who dedicated your time to follow this reflection. Your presence here is a blessing and an encouragement to continue sharing the Word of God together. Our desire is for this channel to be a source of inspiration and spiritual growth for each of you. Continue following our messages and biblical studies, because together, as a family in Christ, we can grow in knowledge and grace, walking firmly in faith. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so so you don't miss any of the uplifting content we'll be sharing. May the Lord pour His blessings upon each one of you, strengthening your faith, filling you with peace and joy in His presence. May the Holy Spirit guide you at all times and may the Word of God be a lamp for your feet and a light for your path. Thank you, once again, to all the brothers who stayed until the end of this video. May the love and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. May God bless you greatly. To the next.